Thinker Television, brought to you by Sportsman's Warehouse, America's premier outfitter, Peterson Toyota and Toyota Trucks, moving forward, Coldwell Banker, every day until it's sold, St. Croix Rod, best rods on earth, Evan Rude, spend more time on the water. Good morning. Welcome to Fishful Thinker. I'm Chad Lachance and I'm freezing my tail off out here on Antero Reservoir with Nathan Zielinski right here from Tightline Outdoors. It's 27 below zero. It's February here in the Rocky Mountains. We're at what, 9,000 feet in elevation? A little above that. A little above that. It's like seven o'clock in the morning and we've hiked three quarters of a mile across the lake and we're gonna to try to bring you some great big trout through the ice. Nate, what do you expect out of the day? Should be a great day. We're in a low pressure area, lots of big fish, should be good. Well, it should be great fun. We, we, we walked out here to get away from the other anglers. We've got some really distinct things we'll talk about about how we chose this spot. It should be a good show. Grab a cup of coffee, stay warmer than we are, and we appreciate you joining us. This will be a good time. Welcome back to the show. Like we said in the beginning, it's really cold. It's 27 below zero, and we hiked three quarters of a mile across the lake to come to this very spot to fish. Nate, why do we pick this spot? You know, you, you know as well as everything, the right place at the right time is key. So we're putting ourselves in that situation. There's lots of food in the lake. We got to just find that right spot where the food meets the fish. Everything happens. We found a big weed line. We just poked a series of holes. We're going to check them with the graph, but hopefully we want to be sitting three, four feet off of a real thick weed line, right where those fish are going to be cruising, picking up on all those scuds. The scuds are the primary food source here. So did you find those spots in the summertime and then put that data in your GPS, handheld, bring it out here, and that's how you know the I, you spot? You know, I load it right in the fall, the very last day of boating season, because a lot of the weeds will change up and kind gotcha. of change around in the fall. So gotcha. the last day of boating season, come out here, get all the ice fishing spots for the winter. That makes sense. And then you drill the hole, drop the, the sonar down there, look for the weeds, make sure you fine tune your spot, and get after them. So we've got our series of holes. We're fishing eight or nine feet deep. There's some big trout in here. Big trout. This particular spot is small. It's about the size of two trucks parked together. So real small, weeds all around it. Should be fine. Excellent. Well, let's get after them. Let's do it. All right. We have been fishing for just a couple of minutes after drilling our holes. I'm going with a confidence bait for me, which is the little goat minnow. You using gold? Yeah, go figure, huh? Really? That dog will hunt, I'm telling you. <laughs> so... That's my strategy. So it's a standard setup for me. 27 below or 95 above. Doesn't seem to matter a whole lot. Everybody eats it. How, how big a minnow are you using? I've got a two and a half inch. I've got a natural colored minnow on. I've got actually the watermelon pearl color. I got a fish looking. Oh, just took off. They're cruising around. He's heading towards you. Because he likes gold. Okay, I'm my reels. Inch and a half kind of root beer color, little soft plastic, little split tail grub. And I'm tipping mine with a waxworm. Try to offer them both things. See so what got they the like? Senate artificial and the, and the little waxy on there. So look right here, that's my bait. That's your bait. Been, we're nine and a half feet. These fish really are, are all over the water column. People get so sucked into the idea that trout are always on the bottom. Right. And that's definitely not the case. You know, I mean, we're gonna catch fish today from right on the bottom to, you know, honestly, three, four, five inches below the ice. Fish cruising way up high, eating scuds that are coming up on kind of on their last strand of their life. So uh, really the, the whole water column is good. What I try to do is, you know, we're looking at our, at our flasher here and when the fish very first comes onto the screen, take a note of where that fish is coming from. Oh, okay, so you, you know, can so, see if he goes you know, down to your bait or exactly, up to your bait. Exactly, if he's gotcha. coming up, we know we need to lower it down. If it's coming down, we need to raise up. So that's one of the biggest indications is, is pay attention to that to see where they're coming from. Gotcha, okay. And you think less is more when it comes to motion in the beginning, or what, what do you, you think? Know, basically, I try to pick a window. So I'm going to say, hey, my window right now is, is eight, nine inches. So I tend to shake it and then pop it. Pop it, pop it, get their attention, then shake it. Most of the strikes come when you're shaking it right in their face, but you definitely got to get their attention by those little higher pops. Gotcha, gotcha, so, okay. And that's it. And then, uh, I mean, these fish, definitely, it's not a, not a one-strike type thing. If you miss them, get right. ready again. They'll, they'll, they'll come definitely right back. come back sure. and hit it. Yeah, we've seen that. I'm fish on. Fish on, right off the bat. Nathan Zelensky shows why he's the man. It's now, not the one we're quite looking for, well, but. Well, hey, I don't care. I mean, <laughs> to me, it's a fish. When, when you catch fish and it's 20 below zero out, I don't care how big that fish is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from South Florida, man. We didn't fish in 20 below. I never even heard of 20 below. 
And, uh, and that did not take long at all. Now that's literally Nate's first drop in the hole. It took us longer to get warm enough to fish. <laughs> Absolutely. And, uh, and that's beautiful, that's dude. Right get off this, the Get bat. that Go fish back real quick before he freezes There's up. There's one right here. I got one right here and I got a big one. Oh yeah, I got a nice one right here hey, now. Chef, you always try right. to help your partner out. Okay. You can slip the, oh, get the flasher out partner. there for you. <laughs> it's going to be hot and heavy, I have a feeling now. I'm no ice fishing expert, so for me, I really don't know what to expect. It's just a little one like Nate just got. <laughs> All right. Now, that's each of our first drops. Now, I've got four pound test, so I probably shouldn't be grabbing that <laughs> fish quite like that. If I get a bigger one than that, we won't. Okay, easy there. Nice. And there went the leader. There we go. <laughs> leader broke, but not until after I landed the fish. But, uh, Beautiful. That's that's what we're looking for. And man, you that's ain't it. kidding. That's uh, right off the bat. It's a beautiful rainbow. Nice fish. Probably what, 17 inches, 18 probably inches. Exactly. Beautiful. We'll put him back real quick. Tell us a little bit about your DVD. You know what it is? Is we like you promoting education. It's all about the greater good of the sport. So promoting that. Uh, so I actually have a DVD out right now. It's 55 chapters. It's an hour and I think 45 minutes, hour and a half of nothing but fish. Just, I mean, it's, it's catching, but it's also education. We kind of broke it down into everything from beginning, finding your spot, GPS, to actually getting on the ice, and we actually just added night footage, actually using a light, a floating light at night to bring fish to you. So it's literally everything there possibly is to know about trout fishing through the ice. Well, if it's 20 plus below when the sun's out right now, I don't want to be out here at 2 o'clock <laughs> in the morning. But actually, if we follow this shelter over us, so what kind of shelter are we sitting Yeah, well, on? we're sitting in an otter shelter right now. It's the otter cabin. You flip it over and you're actually talking 60 degrees, 65 degrees. But if, if camera guy Tim stands out here and freezes and films us sitting in here, he's going to look for a new job. Exactly. So. <laughs> Got him. All right. All right. Thanks for that, Nate. Same thing, I watched him come up, same as you though. See, I'm not stupid, I watched. He come three foot off the bottom where you told me. And there we go. <laughs> All right, so we're, we're making progress. We're building our pattern. And Nate said just um, two minutes ago, a minute and a half ago, when my fish was three feet off the bottom, I lifted my gulp minnow three feet off the bottom. And just like that, boom, there we go, baby. Now, I don't know if this fish is cold as I am, but I knew, I do know one thing, he likes the goat minnow. <laughs> and that makes me happy. And the reason it makes me happy is it's just proving furthermore that everybody eats it in all kinds of conditions. Another beautiful fish, this ain't the biggest one I've ever seen, but we'll take him. And I will say this, uh, I think we're gonna catch more of them based on this. We'll put him back in the hole. So here's the deal. Nate and I completely disagree on one thing, and that's line. I'm a big believer in using braided line with a fluorocarbon leader. I've got six pound fire line on here. I've got a four pound test, 100% fluorocarbon leader that's like eight feet long. Now we're only fishing in like eight or nine feet of water. It's a really long leader. The reason I have that long leader on there is I'm not working the bait a lot. I don't need a lot of action imparted by the fire line. If I do get a big fish, and Nate tells us we have potential, what's your biggest in here? I think the biggest the ice? fish I pulled out through the ice is right around 13.9. So if I hook a 13 pounder and he wants to pull some drag, which I'm going to have to let him do because of the four pound test, I can let him pull a bunch of drag and it'll be my fire line that's rubbing on the ice. And I really am not worried about that stuff breaking no matter what. What do you throw and why? You know, typically my whole whole thing of all my fishing is Trilene XT. I'm a huge fan of it. It just provides everything that I like. I'm a huge mono guy. I like the strength. I like the price. And you know, this is extremely clear water, but everything on these lakes that I'm fishing is all backed with heavy weed growth. So right. it's that solid green, you get that heavy green tint. Sure. I'm using green tinted mono. Here we go. Um, just blends in perfectly. The XT abrasion resistant is great for the ice. I can beat around the edge of the ice doesn't have any nicks, any cuts, anything like that, and just uh, overall performs great for me. You know, really the problem I think here is, is we're both advanced anglers and they just can't decide. Oh, they don't I'm know working against you, you're working against me, we're just kind of yeah. confused, you know? <laughs> yeah, right, there you go. Well, I you think gotta tell ourselves something. <laughs> when it comes to ice fishing, I, I, there ain't no question who's the expert in this crowd. I'll, I'll, you know, I'll take my chances in the boat with, with about anybody, but when you put me on the ice, I can guarantee you that 
that there's a lot of people that are better at it than me. But one thing I think is very, very important, fishing's fishing to some degree, developing a pattern, being observant, all of that stuff, uh, matching your tackle to what you're doing, all of that, that's, that's stuff that if you learn to do that, yeah. that's how you get you to be consistent. Carry it anywhere. You know, I, I caught some fish actually a couple days ago on a guide trip. Right Ooh, there. Boom, yeah. Right up high. getting a lesson right here. The boss is giving me a lesson. Listen to that drag. Oh, <laughs> nice. You got that little. I mean, do I got to be serious enough to take off my glove? Yeah, if I can help, let me know. <laughs> you want you me to reel mine up to get out of the no, way? No, I think we're good. Okay. You know, uh, now, this is why he did the DVD, not me. The other day, Guy stop, and I had a guy me. reeling up. Stop, stop, stop. Look at Oh, that's a beautiful one right there. Nathan Zelensky, that's, that's a pretty fish right I there. I mean, no matter how big or little, <laughs> the colors on that fish <laughs> are absolutely gorgeous. That is a pretty, give me some knuckles right look there. At that. A bear, look at the head on that. If you look oh, at those colors, guys, man. there's nothing that gets prettier than that. That is a pretty, but look at him steaming in the 30 below, <laughs> or the probably 15 below that's now. It. Holy We're going to get him back so his eyes don't get frozen up. You know, Chad, I, I just caught two back to back. I've got another one looking. You know why I'm doing that? I got the look. Oh, I got the cool hat. Oh, yeah, thanks to Tom go. and Jim. You guys know who I'm talking go. about. I mean, I look great. <laughs> and then I'm holding my rod the right way. I mean, you, you totally look like a you rookie. You didn't tell me I had to have a hat like that, or I would have showed mean, up. If that's the thing, see, all the cool guys, they hold the rod this way. So I'm going to have to try that. I think you have to be from like Minnesota or something to do that. How important is it to get away from the crowd? Now, you were adamant that we were gonna have to go for a walk and camera may not be able to see it, but there's a whole group of guys there. There's a whole group of guys 50 yards from the from their truck and we're three quarters of a mile from the truck. You, that's, you gotta give the fish a little bit of credit. You know, if they're getting bombarded and not so much even the fishing pressure, but the auger, mm. that gas auger, I mean, you think about a blade right. cutting through ice. Right. That's like a chalkboard to us. Right, you know, right. you start getting a lot of holes getting auger. It's just a lot of pressure. And being that this whole lake offers good feeding areas, good fish, right. it's very simple for those fishes to slide off those areas into other areas. Else. So the more chances, you're just upping your odds by being in those low pressure areas. You and, know? and I. I agree with you that that's the case in a lot of angling situations. Doing something, either doing it different or doing it in a different location. Ooh, I like that rig you've got. <laughs> I'm going to go with your rig, man. <laughs> oh, nice. Now, I see you're getting some pull on your little reel there, Mr. Zelensky. How's that going for you? Yeah, it's going good. I had to take the glove off again. Uh-oh. Get your Michael Jackson one hand. Oh, you got no hands on there. What you got? What you got? Ooh, that's a good fish, I bet. Now, guys, now Chad is such a great person to fish with. He's going to take his gloves off. He's going to dive in oh, that that's hole. that's a horse. Look at the size of this thing. Get I might that actually fish. dive in this thing. Now, this what you do, guys, this is crew, crucial. Get the head turned, and then I'm going to guide it in. I'm going to take my left hand under the belly and slide it out. OK. So that's the whole trick when it comes this to landing big fish through the ice. This is definitely a nice trout, guys. I'm gonna be reeling. Oh, look at that! Nathan Zelinsky's earning. I, look at that. I can't get my right hands there. can't get my hands around it. That is what we are here on in Terrell Reservoir in a 20 below day to catch. Nay, what a gorgeous, Ooh. nice, nice, <laughs> very nice catch. That right there. Oh, that's a that's beautiful a typical, cut bow. Beautiful cut bow from oh, Antero. Oh, guys. <laughs> This is a, Nate, that's why you're the man. That's why you're the DVDs. I hate to stroke this guy's ego because he doesn't need it. <laughs> but the reality is when he's putting a lesson down like this right here, he, this is exactly how he told us it was going to go this morning. And that is a beautiful, beautiful cutthroat look, or look cut at the Look at the shoulders on that fish. Look how thick. That is cool. Big fins. Look at the colors. Nice. Very nice. Mr. Zelensky Look at the right cuts coming there. underneath his. Yeah. Pull, pull that little jaw yeah, down. Look big, at, look at big how, bright. So look you at can how see right that here. Is. You get that big, bright cutthroat stripe right there. What a gorgeous fish. That's Nathan it. Zelensky. Put that thing That's back. Big. Let it breathe awesome. right there. a lesson from this guy today just to get in a lesson and you know what I'm happy to get the lesson truthfully <laughs> because that's how I will get better as an angler 
Ah, oh, beautiful fish. Look at this one. They're just getting bigger as the day goes on, Nate. How does that work? Is, you that, know? is that a strategy? Do, do, do you pay extra for that? or <laughs> how do, What's he got it's there? Just oh, it's just the pattern. You know, it's unbelievable how, it, how once you develop the pattern, you know, and, and the pattern is starting to show. I had the right size jig. I just switched to a white version of the same jig. We had the level, switched up the color a little bit, and boom, boom. Just Two like big that. fish came right when we changed it up. Yep. Beautiful fish. Look at the tail on this. Oh, it's just ice. Yeah, okay. It's a little frozen. Yep. Put him but, back. Uh, no, it's about building that pattern once you got it. Beautiful. It's man. about the hat. I'm Dude, telling you. Do you want to wear the hat? <laughs> You, one thing though, we did talk about this. You're, there's more fish showing on your graph even yep. than on my graph. Yep. And my graph, my, I'm two feet closer, three feet closer to the weed line than yep. you are. Yep. Do you think of that kind of a nuance? Because you know, I mean, literally, I can understand the bites. The bites yeah. might come with how you're Absolutely. working and reading it, but I'm just flat not seeing as many fish even. Yeah, and it, they're either coming into my screen because they like my jig better, or again, typically I see a counterclockwise rotation of these fish on the spot. And again, we're saying this spot, 20, 30 feet gotcha. round, something like that. They might be coming out of these weeds on this side. I'm the first one they see. Whatever gotcha. the case may be, absolutely. I might even be more in the center of this more opening. More open, the weed easier, here. So easier to they're, find. They're the seeing hole. me easier. Sure, exactly. that makes good sense. You are flat converting. Another one where spots a looker. I'm gonna keep fishing in case we can hook a double up. That's a pretty oh, fish. Oh man, look at oh, this Oh, he doesn't want to come up. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. That oh, fish didn't want to come up the hole. Folks, look at that. You know, all of a sudden, early we were catching maybe one in every three, four. Every fish that's come up to look at this jig has, been, has taken it. I'm going back to the big one. Whether too. it's later in the day, the white color, this is definitely a catching some deal. fish. Wow, beautiful fish. Nate, beautiful. Male white tips. Get him back. How awesome is that? Look at how dark their bellies are. I don't want to touch with my gloves, but good Lord, what another beautiful, awesome. you are the man, dude. Holy smokes. Oh, this feels like it might be a good one right here. Come on, please be a nice one. This is uh, for a limited ice fishing experience guy like Ooh, me. Is it a nice you're one? You're gonna be excited. Oh, don't tell me. Now, what I just do with my hand, I'm actually breaking the real sharp oh, edges of the ice that. off. That way that, that line won't catch that. Guys, this is a nice fish. I thought you were just chasing my fish away so I could <laughs> fight him a little longer. <laughs> uh, Same thing, once you get his head up there, kind of lean his head, okay. I'll, I'll reach down there, slide his belly, and we'll flop him out, but this is a nice fish. Is it? Switching oh. that up, you know, how quick was that? You went from that small bait to that big bait. To the big bait. Boom. Back I mean, to the two and a half inch minnow. Such little Nate, things. Nate was using white, so I went through my bag of minnows and picked the whitest one out of all of them. And uh, this is the, holy smokes, this one, dude, this thing feels big. This is a nice fish. You got a, you got a look at them? I oh, didn't oh, see yeah, I got, got a great look at them. So what's the deal with fighting on these little rods? Yeah, is it a lift and pump? Like this, and you know, I, I just continuous pressure, just the second they start coming at you, you know, these fish are known to run and turn fast. Just keep that pressure on them. The biggest thing is once they get close, Go don't ahead. overwork them until that head's turned up in this hole. Gotcha. You know, once that head's turned, then, then you're ready. I can't feel my real handle. <laughs> Dude, this, is this fish really that big? Oh yeah, it's a nice fish. I mean, from what I saw, I'm guessing this fish probably at that 23, 24 inches. Um, I can't tell how fat he is to get a good weight, but this, this is definitely a nice, nice fish. Oh, nice fish. Oh, dude, you're kidding I gotta, me. I gotta get a little bit better look at him, but this is a dandy. This is, this is why you come oh, to look at him go. This is why you put your time in, find the weed line, dial it in. Get up at 3.30 in the 3 morning. 3.30 in the morning, 30 <laughs> below. That's what it's worth. Oh, buddy. I'm look. I'm really excited to see this thing because this is by far the strongest pull I've had on an ice rod yet. And uh, I'm trying to keep the line just intuitively away from the edges. That's it. You know, and that's the problem with outfishing a shelter. You get some sharp edges, and you. Oh, oh there oh. it is. Oh, that's a horse. Now that fit, we just don't let them come in tail first like that. We right, got to make right. sure their heads in. If his tail's back, let them have some time. Okay. Okay. Back here he comes. Right oh. up a hair. There you go. go. There we go. Oh, he turned over. Oh. <laughs> Nice, 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 Look nice. At that. There's my little minnow my friend, stuck right that there. That is a fish. Oh. <laughs> hold him, hold him. If I can get a hold of him, we'll be doing really good. Oh, that look at that at. thing. How nice is that, Nathan <laughs> Zelensky? 
Thank you very much. This guy's been schooling me all day. And then we get this singer all morning. Hold that up, I'm gonna take a picture. We never do this for this. We're always on TV, we never take pictures. Oh, awesome. thank you. What a gorgeous fish right there now. I mean, that fish, wow. is, that fish is right there in that, you know, probably 23, 24 inches. Fat, you know? thick on the back. I mean, that's, oh. a, that's a beautiful fish. Love it, love it, love it. I'm gonna put it back, I'm gonna kiss it. Mm, thanks for playing, baby. Oh, <laughs> come on now, there you go. That's a fish. Wow, <laughs> thanks very much. Guys, It's that's just absolutely amazing. We have froze our tails off. I've got my butt kicked every which way but sideways today, and I will take that because for that one fish right there, my confidence level goes up, put the whole thing together, made a couple of good decisions, listened to what this guy had to say, most importantly, and uh, wow. Folks want to come fish with you, how do they get a hold of you? You know, go to my website, Tightline Outdoors, shoot me an email. You can say, hey, I'm interested in this. Give me a list of everything you got. I'm actually in the process of redesigning my website, but we got ice school, we got guide trips, we got DVDs. We try to do everything. So there's something we can't offer. Well, we've done a bunch of shows with Nate, and hopefully we'll do a bunch more shows in the future. He and I work a lot together because we have a similar goal of educating you guys on how to catch fish yourself. So. Hopefully you've enjoyed this show. Hopefully you've enjoyed watching me get my tail kicked. And uh, we've had a great time making it, even though we've been joking about it cold. It's definitely cold, but it's worth it. That's so it. I appreciate awesome. you guys watching us and uh, appreciate you hanging in there for this show. And hopefully you'll watch us next week. We'll have some more adventures here on Fishful Thinker. We'll see you next week. Oh. Oh, speaking of grabbing a shorter one, I think I just had a shorter one right there. Oh, come on now. He got it. Got a look at oh, oh, swing and a miss. Oh, that's a nice one. Look at him. Oh, no. That was a nice fish. Oh, he was in the hole and he didn't even know how to get out of the hole. He was stuck.